Dear Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today, Lord. We ask for your presence during this special time. We would also like to ask for your blessing over this ceremony as Terry and Christian make their vows to each other. Hey there, beautiful. It's finally here. Ten years in the making, I can honestly say I have no idea where I would be without you. You are my partner, my best friend, and my everything. I was lost before I found you, and together we have created a beautiful family in life. I can never thank you enough for all that you do, but here's what I can do. I vow to always put you and our kids first above all, to do my best to make sure that we live a long and happy life together. I know there will be hard times, but I promise to never give up on us. I vow to love you through the good days and the bad. I promise to always have your back and do my best to encourage you, to support you, and to cherish every little moment from our secret handshake to building forts in the living room and to make sure that you know how truly amazing you are every day. I could go on and on, but it really comes down to this. On this day, I give myself to you completely, forever and always. Now come take my last name, and let's start our happily ever after. I love you. Christian, when we first met 10 years ago, I never would have thought we would be where we are right now. You couldn't have came into my life at a better time. God knew how much I needed you, and I will for the rest of my life believe that he made you just for me and me just for you. You have truly given me the two things I have always wanted and dreamed of. The first thing you gave me is eternal love that I can not only see, but feel. Secondly, you gave me the family I have always wanted. I cannot wait to grow old with you and tell our grandchildren our life story. I have dreamed of this day for many years now, and it's finally here. I will stand with you through thick and thin, and I will spend each and every day trying to show you just how deeply I love you, Christian. Love always and forever. Bond. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in the bond of marriage. Christian, do you intend to take this woman whose hand you hold to be your lawful wedded wife? And do you pledge before God and man to love, honor, and protect her? Through sunshine and shadow alike, keeping yourself and to her alone until death shall separate you. If so, answer that word. I do. Tara, do you intend to take this man whose hand you hold to be your lawful wedded husband, and do you pledge before God and man to be to him a loving and true wife through sunshine and shadow alike, keeping yourself and to him alone until death shall separate you? I Christian take you, Tara, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health to love and to cherish, excluding all others as long as we both shall live, 
If God is my witness, I give you my pledge. I to take you, Christian, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, excluding all others, as long as we both shall live, with God as my witness. I give you my pledge. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now, by the authority of invested in me as a minister of the gospel, and in accordance with the laws of the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. It is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Padlock. today I got to meet this beautiful bride and I can't be more thankful than I am today to have her as a sister. I've seen Christian and Tara together and I've seen them apart and today I'm grateful to say that I'll never have to see them apart again. Here's to forever. I love y'all. <laughs> I've known Christian a long time, and uh, we've helped each other grow up in a lot of ways. And I've been there since he met Tara, and I've watched him grow. I've watched him go through things. Most important, I've watched him grow into his adults. He's been a good father, he's been a good man, he's been a good brother. Uh, when he's in town, he always finds time to stop by, and checks on me, he makes sure I'm okay. He always has. Uh, he's always been there for me, and I'm glad to be here. I'm honored and proud to be here today. This is one of the best days of my life too. Tara is a great mother, and I'm glad Christian has her to come home to take care of things when he's gone. Me and Grayson and Richard and Jasmine and Julia, we're all looking up to you, and we appreciate you, and I thank you. Uh, thanks for letting me be here and be your best man. I love you. I don't really know what to say, especially with Christian. Uh, I've had a lot of dark times in my life, and he was the only one that would come and hunt me down and find me and get me through that. So, and uh, Tara, that, there ain't a better fit for anybody other than Christian for Tara. Ten years in the making this day. No matter your struggles, I always knew you'd be down inside this day with come. I know you have always wanted this. You stayed strong and very determined to keep the love of your life by your side. Y'all have already been through thick and thin and have overcome more obstacles than most couples will ever know. And your love for one another is very, very powerful and true. The fire in your heart that burns for her, God gave you that. He shaped and molded y'all to fit perfectly like a puzzle piece. Not many people have what you have, you and Tara. What you have is special and rare. And I believe deep down inside you both know that. Congratulations. Live a very happy, wonderful, long life together. It's your destiny to be together. <laughs>